hello guys uh, welcome back to another calc video tutorials in this video tutorial we will go through single story frame so i'll just select in my project manager i'll select add i'll go to 2d frame over here and i'll say yes would you like to use frame wizard yes now in here you have many types of options but since for now I'm just working on single story member so I'll select this I'll say next and I'll say horizontal length as 15 feet height will be 10 feet my column section or concrete section that depends whichever I want so I'll say concrete um, okay I have wood actually over here instead of concrete all right let me close this for now what do we have over here we have steel sections okay let me do it on steel section so i'll have hss column so let's say six by six by half and um, i'll have a member section of w by 25 let's say uh, and we'll select that we'll select finish now your single story frame will be created for you so you have columns and beams now in description you can write whatever this project is about okay and total number of joints you have are four number of members are three and number of floats applied to members one for now all right we have this everything we can just select a la we'll select so there you have load fact load combinations all right i'll just go in here and i'll select lrfd i can start a new frame wizard again if i want now i'll go to joint loads and stuff so as of now i don't have any joint loads i'll keep member loads so what is my member let me see my member is B and I have B over here that is member data actually so fixed 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 that's good member loads I'll say 1D member load ok I'll select add load location will be all right five feet dead will be five live will be five you can see units are kips and these are point loads we'll also have a distributed load so let me say five kip per feet to 10 kip per feet dead load and live again 5 or let live will be from 10 to 15 now that is done for you ok now let's go to general and um so in member loads you have member forces so axial forces shear and moments you can and you can also like and that is especially for that load combinations now you can go to sections and materials 
and I believe you can add a new section if you want <laughs> even a material area everything can be changed and coming to load combinations you know whichever load combinations you want to run you select yes or you can select no and going to the results so results in order to see them you can see the reactions and everything the displacements Now if you go to sketch, so that is your sketch. And this sketch is the deformed shape actually. Now if you say show undeformed shape, that will be your undeformed shape. Deformed shape. And next you can see your reactions if you want I removed the loads and let me have dead plus live instead. Okay. Sorry for the interference. Anyways, so now I'll just go in here select dead plus live plus hatch that's my deflection drawing my reaction drawing and my stress drawings I can go to diagrams and let's see what we have in here so 1.2d plus 1.6l and you have your drawings like moment and uh, deflection and then you have your shear these are the different load combinations for stress for reactions and for deflections and um, the maximum values can be found from this so shear is the maximum is 14 kips which is at a distance of 0 feet as you know it's 0 at and and moment 140 kip per feet at 10 feet which is at the story level single story level and the deflection maximum is 1.06 inches at 4.29 feet and coming to the reports finally so you can have all areas to print or if you want all the input data and output data and you can say um, set all areas to print or set output to print I'll just say set output to print and then it will print me all the reactions deflections shear and moment everything alright now you just go to print over here and select print let me just select output to print and also include print full page of sketch of frame I'll say print over here and instead of giving that I'll just say PDF I'll convert it into PDF uh, 
um, I'll say some name and now I think I saved it in here alright let me just um sorry about that let me just print it again so that I don't lose it this time so let's say in here and which is okay in that folder cool I know it it's in this folder not in here in here so it's AA and I'll open it and you can see the drawing deformed drawing and then you have your joint displacements and extreme joint displacements and then you have shear movement axial everything shown so guys that's it for the video tutorial that is how you do single story frame in inner calc if you have any more questions please comment below and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching the video